Hi, I'm Dan McCabe with Avalon Integration, and today I'd like to give you some perspective on wearable computing. Different people mean different things when they talk about wearable computing. Most often when people talk to us about wearable computing, they're talking about glasses. You probably all heard about Google Glass a few years ago being the hot new thing. The idea being that there's a small screen in front of you that you can look at that leaves two hands free to do other work, like pick a box and put it in another box. Unfortunately, Google Glass never really took off for a couple of reasons. One, it was extremely expensive. Two, there were hygiene issues because people didn't like to share glasses. And three, it required a lot of custom application development with special skills. So unfortunately, the early adopters that tried to do piece picking with Google Glass got burned. There are other players in the space that are constantly coming out with new and better offerings. Um, but quite honestly, it's not clear that that's ever really going to take off given the fundamental nature of the technology. It's always going to require a device in someone's most personal space. It's always going to require a lot of battery power. And it's always going to require a lot of custom development using special tools. If it does become wildly successful, it's going to become wildly successful at really large companies who have development capability and an appetite for risk. For those reasons, we're really not that excited to talk to people about glasses as the primary wearable. The second type of wearable computing that people tend to want to talk about is voice-based picking. Now, in a voice-based system, there's typically an application running on an Android device, which is connected to a Bluetooth headset. And the benefit of this over a glasses-based solution is that while glasses are very expensive, headsets are very cheap. This is a top quality industrial headset available for under $100. Historically, people have struggled with what the Android device of choice should be to drive those sorts of applications. We think going forward, the Zebra EC30 is going to be the preferred choice. Why? Because it's small, it's light, it has long battery life, and more importantly, it's an enterprise device with a protected life cycle. So Zebra is going to provide support and Android updates on this device for six years. Folks who have tried to implement these sorts of systems on consumer-grade cell phones have often found that a year or two after the initial deployment, they can no longer buy those same cell phones or they don't get security updates. The end result of that is as the operation grows, so too do the number of distinct and unique devices and device combinations. And that can be very costly and difficult to support. For these reasons, we think the EC30 is going to be the new go-to device for the voice picking industry. The third wearable computer option is the wrist-mounted mobile computer, most often paired with a Bluetooth ring scanner. The benefit of this technology is that this is effectively a completely standard Android device. There is no text-to-speech engine, no speech-to-text engine, and really it's just a, perhaps as simple as just a web page. Um, the device will tell the person where to go, what to get. The person will go there, get it, scan it to verify, and then put it in the next container. So these devices have been very, very popular, most especially in e-commerce picking, where people are typically picking one or two of something at a time, and they really, really, really need to drive productivity. The downside or the challenges with these technologies is that these devices are per oftentimes perceived as being a little bit larger than they need to be, a little bit heavier than they need to be, and they're certainly a lot more rugged than they need to be. This is not going to fall off my wrist, and so it doesn't really need a really good drop spec. For those reasons, a lot of people have been investigating just sticking a regular consumer-grade cell phone on their wrist paired to the same sort of ring scanner. Uh, and in fact, a lot of the startup e-commerce sort of companies have been going that route. We're really excited, though, that now that Zebra has come out with the EC30, because we think you're going to be able to get the uh, best of both worlds. So whereas the current wearable device is fairly large and fairly heavy, the new wearable device is much, much smaller and much, much lighter. Also coming out from Zebra is a new ring scanner, which compared to the current one is much, much smaller and much, much lighter. So we think the future is very bright for the EC30 in the wearable space, and we'd love to show you how you can leverage it to drive picking efficiency in your operation. Please give us a call.